If you have a Discord community that speaks more than one language, then I have the perfect solution for you. It's a Discord bot called iTranslator. And basically what it does is let you translate any text that someone sends inside Discord directly inside the server. It even has the ability to automatically translate any message that's sent in one channel into a different language into another channel. And what's really cool is thanks to an update Discord just pushed out this past week, you can now use this bot inside your direct messages with any of your friends. Without further ado, let's dive into it. So the first thing you're gonna do to install the bot is you're gonna go to itranslator.app. I'll have the link down in the description for you guys to be able to add the bot to your server. Now that we have the Discord bot in our server, we can actually start translating text immediately inside Discord. So what we're going to do is if we wanna translate something, let's say from English to Spanish, we're gonna do a slash translate and it's going to prompt us to type in the text that we want to translate and then what the target language that we're gonna translate it to is. So for the text that we're gonna translate, we're just gonna say this is a test of the translator bot. So now we have the target language. Like I said, we're going to translate this over to Spanish. And then if you wanna select the source language, so the language that we actually typed, we can do that. We're gonna type in English. Once we do that, we press enter and then wait for about a second and you're gonna get an instant translation from English to Spanish. So this can work as a way to directly communicate through the bot to other people in your server that speak a different language. So you can one, just do translate like that and the bot can be the third party mediator for y'all's conversation since it shows you who in the server is sending the actual message and then what the actual message says. Or if you wanna change it up, you know, you could always copy this, paste it, and then you can send it from your own account if you wanna do it that way. And then say, if we wanna translate that exact text back from Spanish to English, then we can come in here and type in English and we can do our source language is Spanish. If I can spell correctly, it doesn't seem like I can. Spanish, we can press enter and it's gonna translate it from Spanish back to English. So that's how to use the basic translation feature of the bot. Super easy and very, very helpful. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys is what they call auto translation. So this bot has the functionality where you can set up a channel like I have right here. I have an English channel, a Spanish channel, and a Japanese channel. So what we can do, I'm gonna show you guys, I already have it set up for these two. I'm gonna show you guys what it does, and then I'm gonna show you how to set this up yourself. So I have this, it's gonna basically, any message that I send in here, it's gonna automatically take the message from English and spit it out into a Spanish translation here in the Spanish channel. So we can type, this is a test message to translate from English to Spanish automatically. We can send that message and then once we do, you'll see that a new message is in the Spanish channel and it automatically, without me having to do anything else, it automatically translated it from English to Spanish into this channel for me. So that is a super helpful tool if you have a community that speaks multiple different languages. You can be able to forward your message in one channel from one language to a different language in another channel. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. So I create a new channel called English 2, and what we're gonna do is translate English again into Japanese this time automatically. So now that we are in our English 2 channel, we're gonna run the command auto translate, and we're going to scroll down until we find auto translate create, which will allow us to create a new setup. So we're gonna click that, we're gonna give it a name. This one is going to be English to Japanese. And then what is our source channel? So the channel that we want to pull the English translation from. So we're going to do, or the English message, I'm sorry, we're gonna do English too. And then what is the target channel we want to spit the message, the translation out into? We're going to do Japanese for that one. And then the target language. So we're translating from English into Japanese. So we're gonna come here and type in Japanese is the target language. And then we're gonna also do the source language here and we're gonna type in English for the source language and we'll click that and then we'll click enter. And what that's going to do is go ahead and set up a new auto translation configuration for English to Japanese. So if you're able to follow that, all you should be able to do now is send in any message right here into the English to channel and we'll, it'll automatically translate it to Japanese into our Japanese channel that we set up. Now, if you want to, you could follow those same exact steps to be able to translate it from Japanese back to English automatically in the English channel. So that way, if you wanna be able to have a conversation with people through different channels, you can do so that way. So that's the core functionality of the bot. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more about the bot and the difference in the free version and the premium because you do get a lot more with the premium version. So I'm gonna show you that in a moment, but what I wanna show you is what I mentioned at the beginning of the video where you can now use this directly in your direct messages on Discord thanks to a recent update this past week. So what we're gonna do this is we're gonna click on the bot and we're gonna click the add app button. Once you do that, you're gonna get a pop-up where you can one, add it into a server, which has always been a thing, but two, 
a new beta feature where you can use this app everywhere, which includes direct messages. So we're going to click that. We're going to authorize. So this is my alt account that I'm going to direct message. You're going to see a lot of uh, invalid invites. Just ignore those. But what we're able to do now that we added the application to our own account, we can now type in the slash button and we can use the bot directly in our DMs. So now we can do the same thing that we were doing in the Discord server, but we can do it directly in DM. So I'm going to go ahead and type a message in. So now I can be able to send the message and it's going to automatically translate it from English into Spanish in the DMs for me. But what can make this even quicker is say they sent you, my friend like this sent me a direct message and I want to be able to translate it right away. You can actually right click on their message, hover over apps, and you'll now have the iTranslator um, application right here that you can use. We're going to click translate text and it's going to, without having to do anything else, it's going to automatically translate the text for us just by right clicking. So it's super quick and seamless and just very easy to be able to use. So that's pretty much the main functionality of the bot. That's how you're able to translate text from any language into another language. Now I do want to touch a little bit on their free version versus their premium version, just so you know what you're going to be able to have available to you if you have the free version versus if you upgrade to the premium. So with the free version, uh, one, you are only gonna have 30 languages available to you versus the premium, you're gonna have 109 different languages available. With the free version, you're only gonna be able to translate up to 30,000 characters versus the premium, you can do an unlimited amount. And also for the auto translation, you are limited to 30. With the free version on the uh, premium version, you can go all the way up to unlimited. So that's how you use the iTranslator bot. A lot of people over the last few months have asked me, what can they use to, in Discord to be able to translate messages in a different language into another one? And this is a really good tool that you can use. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. If you wanna join my Discord server, I'll have a link down in the description for you to do that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.